we're a, a company that produces photo products like books, uh, wall decor, calendars, cards that customers can uh, buy online. They can customize it and well, we, we print it, ship it all around the world. I'm working for Albelli for three years now and we are doing basically all kinds of stuff to make it happen to produce photo books and calendars and canvases and all other products. We have many different types of machines and we do integrate them into a single workflow, so which starts from the PDF being available to be printed and then it's been impositioned for different uh, types of printers and then the product can be cut or bound if that's a ring wire or calendar. Then it's uh, been packed and shipped to the end customer. We use uh, HP uh, presses like uh, Indigo uh, 12,000, 50,000 recently uh, uh, installed here at the plant. Yeah, that's correct. We started beginning of this year with the whole project and it was installed in like April and we did a lot of preparations to get it live and first production was started around June, July. Yeah, it's quite a challenge because we have many different types of products that we produce and the more types you have, then the more uh, different alternative routes you have to build into your software. And also different procedures for the operators. And to support all of that, that of course increases complexity. Well, it was uh, quite uh, new for us because we used to print on either a sheet or one roll of paper. And of course, we still print on one roll of paper, but in the end, we slid it into two or three lanes. And that was a challenge because we haven't done that before. And our software, which we developed in-house, was able to position everything on one lane, but we haven't done it with two or three lanes. So that was the biggest challenge to have it as efficient as possible uh, in position on two or three lanes. Yeah, we uh, got experience from HP with, uh, with different companies and we invited them, had conversations and uh, well, in the end picked one. We had uh, an initial meeting where they gave us uh, some sample files, some sample uh, photo books and, and we were able to show uh, what we were doing with Phoenix and it was actually interesting timing for us because we were developing or are developing a lane-based ganging for commercial uh, so it's good timing to actually work with a customer to figure out together you know to have them give us input into what we we're building. We want to in position as efficient as possible, that's for sure. We have different kind of products and it all needs to be able to be in position. Different formats, different positions and also uh, it should fit within the rest of our software environment. Yeah, of course, because we have to imposition many books uh, onto a huge single PDF. So we can easily make a like, 20 gigabyte PDF for the single job. The books are quite heavy and uh, the samples that we got from them, I think were over 20 gigs just in the, the first demo alone. The input we got from them was that our PDF processing was uh, 15 or so times faster than what the other technologies that they were looking at. Well, we ended up choosing Phoenix to do the second layer of impositioning because we do impose books into batches and then Phoenix does impose those batches to lanes for printing. Because the idea with the 50,000 printer is that it's a wide format printer. So the idea was that it will print in two or three lanes that can be finished on the other equipment. So the previous generation printers they print on a nar narrow roll, like 24 centimeters and also, or 33 centimeters. And we have all the equipment that can finish those rolls. So the idea was that we will print on the wide roll on the 50,000. We will cut it in two or three lanes. And then those uh, rolls can be finished on the equipment without any further changes. So that was the idea how to integrate the printer into our workflow in the easiest possible way. We have 
implemented it exactly in this way with the few lanes on the wide roll. That basically worked as, uh, as expected. We did, did have some complications that we haven't foreseen. Well, like the near line finishing. Our current equipment is finishing roll in line, which means the paper gets cut as it comes out from the printer. While with the 50,000, it gets printed and been wound on the roll. And then that roll being taken to the finishing equipment and been unwound, which means there is a complexity. You have to remember that what's printed first gets finished last. Obviously, the imposition part has to keep up with the DFE and the throughput of the press. And uh, Phoenix is able to do that, both on the importing of these heavy files and then the, the optimization stage, which was seconds for us, um, to the actual creating the imposed final PDFs that are sent to the DFE. So the key there is that your software is not a bottleneck and that you can maximize the throughput on a press and the, the 50,000 is a very fast press. Performance-wise, Phoenix is more performant than our in-house imposition tool. I think it, it can churn like 10 gigabytes of PDFs per minute, which is quite fascinating. So far, we have been happy with the performance of Phoenix. Phoenix kind of allows them to maximize the throughput on the 50,000 and to get the efficiencies out of that press that, that are, are possible. And um, a big part of that is the, the speed of of processing and the optimization of lanes. And so if the, the PDF processing isn't fast enough to feed the press, I mean, that's obviously a problem. But outside of that, uh, they have to make decisions about uh, the number of batches that they're producing and the balancing of those across lanes. And Phoenix is able to do that very quickly. So they can, in fact, try a certain number of batches. And then if the efficiency isn't good enough to wait for something else to come in, if no more batches come in after a certain period of time, they can send that to the press as well. So that's, that's another aspect uh, that makes Phoenix unique, I think, is we have a, a completely open API and the combination of this, the speed of the processing uh, and the flexibility. So they can create business rules in their application that's unique to Albelli to make decisions about when things go to the press while still making sure that that press is, is always running. When we were looking for the solution, we were not interested into UI based solution. We wanted an API based system because here at Albelli we automate things as much as possible. So uh, the API first approach was uh, critical for us and we're happy that Phoenix uh, does it the right way. There are certain things that you still have to do in, in the UI but uh, that's improving and basically in the API you can do like 95% of things. And I think uh, in the next few months, then that will be 100%. A few years ago, when we were beginning uh, our development and automation, we decided right away to create uh, an open API. So we have a, a REST-based web service that is quite extensive. In fact, most of what you could do in the desktop, you can also do in that API. And uh, one of our, our main goals at the beginning was to integrate with MIS and workflow vendors. But uh, it's also, we've seen, especially in the, in the last uh, year or so, uh, more and more printers ad adopting uh, this API and using it in ways that we didn't even expect. So that's exactly what happened at Albelli. They're able to use our API out of the box and customize it however they want by just using the, the tools available in Phoenix and using the power of Phoenix. We have uh, ideas how to use Phoenix in other types uh, for other printers and that will reduce the number of vendors we use at Albelli. From the startup solution time, that was a big benefit. If we would have built it ourselves, that uh, would have taken us a few months longer. And of course, business wanted this printer to be operating in uh, one month after they have bought it. Yeah, I think that it uh, has speeded up uh, the process of implementation. Uh, doing it ourselves would be quite intensive way of working and I think that that it's nice that we were able to uh, find some common ground and develop from there uh, as well because TDL Labs was open for our um, uh, way of working and, and adapt to that. We like the way the collaboration and communication with TDL Labs they are very responsive and uh, willing to accommodate our requests and very helpful 
So that's, uh, that's great.